Hi guys, I'm just gonna be back. I'm just gonna make a comment. Uh, hope you enjoy. Now then, so everyone, can everyone hear me? So once you've had your water, we're going to take a spoonful of this uh, grit. Um, it's actually grit from like birdcage grit, but it hasn't already been in a birdcage at that point now. Um, and this is like a silicate. So silicate is a, 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 what rocks are made of, and we find this in common. So we just need like that much, a flat spoon, and we put that in there. So you can do that. And then we also find lots and lots of carbon in comets. So there's lots of carbon. So here we have crushed coal, which is basically our carbon for today. Let's that in there. So we're going to put a spoonful of that in there. <laughs> oh, can you just put that somewhere? One that says sodium. Take a big pinch of that. And then you can take a big pinch of magnesium, that one there, the next one. And then a teeny, tiny pinch of iron. Yes, you No, that's why I say teeny tiny bit. And then, now I'm going to ask Trixie to do the last three bits because it's for safety really. I'm now going to put in a bit of ammonia. It's a bit like that. And then I'm going to put in a bit of soy sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, as we're all so close together, I could give you two yeah, guys, bits. Let's get a nice picture of you for Don't touch it, Tom. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll just take the lid off this one. I'll do that. Don't look at me. Now, when, uh, what's your name? Sauce. And your sauce. And, and Kate, going to do oh, yeah. So this is Kate at the end. Um, yeah, you can do a big pinch. And things get really interesting. So that when the dry ice, you need to give your mixture a stir. A gentle stir now. Stir it up now. And um, next to Kate, what's your name? So now, when that dry ice goes in, you have to really, really stir, 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 and then you go back to your green tray. All right, that's what I'm going to do now. So you need to really, really stir it up. Is it hard, Demi? Demi, is it hard? No? So we're doing a little session now, and as soon as we finish this session, if you hang around, you can be on the next session of Make Comments, alright? Yes! I did! Oh, wow! Great comments. Right, I need. Right, so now I've put my mixture in the bag. As soon as it's all mixed in, really, really stir it up. Uh, you can listen, please be pretty. And watch. So now I'm going to be helping you put on your hair on gloves. <laughs> Alright, so Ooh. before we start doing any shaving, we need to get the gloves on. You've got that. Stop. Do you want to help me here? Stop. Ah, sometimes you've got to be really good. Give it a read. And now I'm going to make a really loud noise, everybody. There we go. Now, when you can whip the gloves on, I just want to make it so I can get much of it, but I'm going to try and make it easy. So you need to allow the gas to escape. So you push it onto the table and you push it really hard. Don't do lots of movement, just push really hard with both hands and squash it in the Go on, Demi, push, push, push. Push hard, don't be moving. Push hard, don't be moving. Is that hard? Demi? Can you have a feel? 
I'm squeezing all the hold of it. And it's quite, quite strong with this bit. This is why sometimes it's helpful to have one of the dads to help. So, so if you're getting on all right? It's fun because I'm strong. Okay. So now take, take that out of the bag. You push it. Right, I want the colours. Don't touch. Don't touch it. Demi. It's starting to rain. Right, now then, for all those uh, who've just made comets, and also for anyone who's going to make comets in a minute, you can see that the comets are doing interesting things. They are, the gas is coming out of them. So you can see them smoking. You can see that one as it's coming out of the bag. It's smoking. I need to have a look. Could you just stay by the top there, making nobody touches any of that second top there? And Trixie, could you start to tidy up? Just get rid of all these. Now we can take off goggles and, and gloves and uh, put all the gloves, goggles, just somewhere on the table. Could be up some time. In that tray, maybe, somewhere. Can to your comments to see if you can hear anything. Don't touch it. What's this sound like, Demi? Get your ear really close. What's this sound like? Can you hear Bubbly. Anything? Can yeah. you hear it? Did you hear anything? Did you hear anything? Yeah? So what did you hear? Tell me. Bubbling. What did you hear? Bubbling. What did you hear? Sizzling. Fizzing. Mine is fizzing and bubbling and sometimes they whistle as well. Real comets make noises like that. We have real recordings of real comets that make this kind of noise. And that's because the gas is escaping from inside. And as it escapes, it's, it's making it bubble and pop and whistle. So that's what real comets sound like, like the ones you just made. Now, can anyone smell anything interesting? It's outside, it's really hard to get the smell, but real comets... Smell, really the smell of bad. anything. <laughs> They're really nasty. You can smell, mine smells a little bit. Can you smell anything? And can you smell anything? You have to get your nose pretty close, but without smell anything, Kate? It smells horrible. It smells a bit like a cat litter tray, which does not smell very nice. Um, and that's because real comets have the horrible ingredients that smell, well, nice ingredients, but they smell really horrible. So there's ammonia and sulfur and methane, things like that in real comets, so they smell really bad. So that's why we're going to do a clean up. It'll take us about 10 minutes. So if anyone wants to make a comet, come. Hope you enjoyed me making a comment. I was I I was so happy making it and it was so fun as well. It was smelly. Bye.